everybody and welcome back to ages how you wear it i got two leather looks that i want to show you so let's get started all right everybody so today i have a zara faux leather jacket and a thrifted 100 percent leather jacket that i want to come and show you how i would style them both and what you think of both of them. So let me start off by showing you first the Zara faux leather. So it's got the gold buttons on the jacket. I was a little scared because the the buttons are kind of loose, but the, I've buttoned them up. I also have it on the sleeve. And it is this pretty, more of a camel color than a dark, rich color. And that's another reason why I liked it. I also like the fact of how the lapel goes all the way down. And it looks really nice on. And here is the back. Now, the pockets are, um, they're not real pockets. Um, actually, yes, they are. I just haven't undone them. So, yep, they're real pockets. So, you know, you can just take the stitching out of the pocket and they are real pockets. So, this is the first blazer. So, the look I did with it. You know, I always got to get my handy dandy iPad because I be forgetting the looks. I do the looks way ahead of time and then I do the video. So this is like almost two weeks between the two. So the first look as you see in the um in the viewfinder, you see not in the viewfinder, you not in the viewfinder. This is why you can't skip time between videos. As you can see here, I wore it with a men's vest. And you've seen this vest. If you watch my videos, you've seen this vest before. I wore it with that men's vest. And then I paired it with a jean, a very light jean skirt. I didn't want anything dark. So I paired it with that light jean skirt. And I always show you something from the outfit so let me show you what i got from the outfit i have my tory birch riding boots and i know it's not the exact same color but it actually has the nice rich brown and i thought it paired really nice with the blazer and the vest and as you can see, there's the Tory Burch emblem. And I got these and I'm gonna have these for a while. Riding boots is a pair of boots that you can invest in because it will never go out of style. Riding boots will always be there. So some things you wanna invest in, you know the deal. You wanna invest in something that you can bring out and over and over. That's what you invest your money in. Trends, find the dupes for the real thing because it's a trend. And as long as it has the look, that's what you're looking for. Unless you can afford the trend because some trend things are very pricey. If you can afford it, good for you. Just know that if you see it as a trend, that means that you may want to care about something in style or out. Me, if I want it and I like it, it's, it's for me to continuously wear, whether it's a trend or not. Make sense? And of course, you know I want you to tell me which outfit you liked. Okay, so the next one uh, will be for the jacket that I thrifted. So let's take a look at it. All right, so the jacket I thrifted is this men's leather. 
chocolate brown. Look at it. Look at it. Now, I think this is this is a jacket, not a blazer. But you can wear it as a blazer or a jacket or whatever way you want to wear it. But anyway, it's got the rich dark brown and it's got these tur uh, tortoiseshell buttons. 100% leather and it is from the brand uh, Paul Monet. Paul Monet. Um, nice pockets. Got that leather sound. Do you hear it? That's that leather sound. Yes. Heavy. And I got this vintage jacket for $20. $20. In the men's section. Oh, it is just so nice. And it is in good condition. To, you, you know this is this is years, probably in the 80s. This is an old vintage jacket. And somebody took very good care of it. It didn't have no, it didn't have a smell or nothing. You know how some things smell like someone's attic? Did not have a smell. So let's look at the, let's take a look. In the Zara jacket, I will put that probably next to the Zara one. So you probably already seen that, the price and everything. But for this one, I wore my pink wide leg uh, pants that I got from Zara, a pink um, Zara bodysuit. I had on my pink shades and I actually had a, um, a scarf around my neck as well. So let me show you what I brought to show you is my, let me bring all this forward. I brought my pink wide leg pants for you to see. These are a pair of my favorite wide leg pants. They are also high rise. So they come all the way up. And I mean all the way up, honey. I mean all the way up. So it is covering all the belly. And it goes to the smallest part of your belly and making you look even smaller. And you know I got a belly. I tell people that all the time. So yes, I get stuff to flatter me. And they are <laughs> wide leg, playing no games. So you saw how wide it is in the picture. So, um... I didn't want to, sh I just want to, I didn't showcase the outfit. I showcased the jacket itself. So I didn't mind that it covered the outfit, but you could tell about my wide leg pants and how cute they look. And you'll be seeing these off and on throughout um, my videos because I wear it summer, winter. It's a beautiful color for the winter time. And um, especially if you're going to be somewhere indoors and you want to have flash of color to an all, maybe a black turtleneck, had it flash of color, a black uh, blazer, and just let the pants peek out as that pop of color. So that's what I wore with that outfit. And the next one I wore with the, um, the next one I wore with that brown blazer or jacket that I thrifted that I want to show you was this shirt right here. So... This shirt, I thrifted on a live sale. That means they go on Instagram Live and people thrift clothes and then they go up there and they sell them out of their shop. So I like a lot of vintage clothes. So this is the brand Jordan and it is, this is of course Versace inspired. Look at those beautiful colors that dark rich brown gold um and it's like 
belt buckles. I'm gonna see if you can see the sleeve. You see it's like belt buckles all the way around with that thick, rich gold and brown and black. Oh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful shirt. And I can have that Versace look without paying the Versace price. So you can wear this all kinds of ways. You see, I tied it up so that you gave it that, that, um, the look as if it's, uh, cropped, but you can put on a pair of leather pants, have this, have the whole shirt, the whole thing, but not all the way to the top, put you some leather, uh, pants on and some boots on top of that and just let this whole shirt that's the way i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna let the whole shirt speak for itself so you'll see the next time i wear this versace inspired shirt that i thrifted so you know i am all into luxury secondhand thrifting vintage shopping consignment Getting it at a cheaper price, it sometimes I buy things brand new. You know that because if you follow me, you know I buy things brand new as well. Um, so those were my looks. I'm gonna leave you here with some more looks. I just want to hop on and just show you to introduce the two blazers or jackets that I want you to see. Faux leather versus leather, the looks, the vintage the, with the modern day, and just to give you some different ideas. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join my butterfly family, and don't forget, no matter where you are in your transformation, you are still beautiful.